Good day all. Just to make a quick video about the reef boat. So this is not some special video. This is just like just showing you guys how it works. I have this reef boat for almost a week now. I've been testing it. It hasn't been plugged to my display tank. So what I'm doing is I technically just grabbing the folder from my display tank and just put into that little container so I just so make sure what I'm trying to get is I think with the test it's not the exact numbers that I'm looking for but it's more the stability so if they keep testing the same water with the same result and the result is close to Hana I'm pretty happy with that so alright so I have said for the reef boat to run an alkaline test so the green colors on this so you can see there's a four side i think on the four corners the led so green means that instructions been given so it's thinking so it's thinking what it's supposed to be doing so while it's thinking i can just quickly show you so this is the needle so Technically, you can have a uh, add files of region one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add. So what I'm using now is I'm just using the first one for archive region. So it's only one bottle. It's second and the third is the phosphate. So I'm gonna reuse the remaining for my nitrate. But that's the the problem with us in Australia. We don't have the tropic marine. Uh, nitrate reagents in Australia so I have to get it from overseas and obviously at the moment it's gonna be a bit of bump to get it in so it's gonna be take, might take a while but so uh, so this is where uh, the needle so the, what happened is when the needle pump up the reagents every time they took the reagents or whatever it is they will come back to this side so it actually uh, flush out any uh, reagents that could be stuck on the on the needle so it doesn't want to have any cross contamination or when it's trying to clean up the needles uh, from within so this is where you're gonna fill out the arrow and it's just gonna clean it up and this is the testing area so still thinking again the the the, the report itself I mean the test is some of the test takes a while I mean like I think the alkalinity would take like around 20 minutes all in together so I'm not gonna show you the whole 20 minutes but I'm just gonna show you how it actually works just in a nutshell so it's running I can see it's running oh again so it has three pumps within the reef mode one pump is to suck the water in from your tank the, the second line is for the ROD it goes in and the third line is the west so you can see it here all right so, something's happening all right So technically running of the system is fully apps driven so you get the real kinetic apps and oh yeah I forgot the regions all the regions I'm using now is the all red sea so technically the test will be based on the red sea I think it test as well so this is where it's gonna be relied on is flushing it up, you know, with ROD9, clean it up, ROD9, clean it up. So we have to make it clean up the water, and it's clean. Uh, so what is this? It's flashing it so many times. 
to flush up the cleaning chamber. the needle prior to go to regions. So there you go. Need that in. And then you fill up the arrow the eye. So you can see so it's starting to fill up the arrow the eye and we plus it up. It does it a few times. Just like five minutes just to clean out the needle itself so as you can see it takes a while. Finally it moves. So what do you So you actually fill up the you actually fill up the testing chamber. Thank you. 
Alright, so it's moving again. So now it goes to the reagents. Alright, so I technically it's been the magnet to make sure it's all mixed up properly, the reagents, before it goes in. Alright, needle and in. The reason why it has to do it twice is, as you can see in the first time, it's not actually taking out the full one mil. It's only taking out, uh, sorry, ten mil or one mil. It's only like two or three mil. So we why I have to do it twice. So I guess you guys get the idea how it works now. So I don't need to show you the rest. So technically it will go to the testing chamber. After that, then with the needle, we go back to the cleaning chamber to be reflux and clean up and we stop. So that's technically how the whole process of the report works. It's technically the same way as how we do it, but it's just been automatized and it's just pretty much been automatized. So it's technically taking out of the gas for you. And technically the testing chamber actually has a, I think it has a camera where they snap once it's done. So it took the colors and they compare color with the chart to give you the value. So, alright, that's it.